Hello and welcome to another English class. Today we are looking at adverbs of frequency and their position in sentences. The adverbs of our class today are always, sometimes, never, often, usually, occasionally, frequently, normally, rarely, seldom, which is a synonym of rarely, and hardly ever, which is also a synonym of rarely. Now, sometimes and occasionally are synonyms. They have the same meaning as each other, and often, usually, frequently, and normally are synonyms. They have the same meaning as each other. Rarely, seldom, hardly ever, likewise. They have the same meaning as each other. Okay, let's have a look at their position in sentences. These adverbs of frequency go before the main verb. I often walk to work. Adverbs go before the main verb. Okay, adverb of frequency, main verb. I often walk to work. They never walk to work. He often walks to work. She sometimes walks to work. Remember to conjugate third person singular, he, she and it, with S for present simple positive sentences, not questions or negatives, positive sentences. For example, she never drives home. I often drive home, no S. They sometimes drive home, no S. He always drives home, S. And those are present simple sentences, but we use the same rule for past simple sentences. He rarely spoke before the main verb, adverb, main verb, adverb, main verb. He rarely spoke. I often spoke. She never spoke. Spoke doesn't change because it's past simple. We don't change the past simple verb for he, she and it. They occasionally stayed late. I often stayed late. She never stayed late. Okay, now these adverbs also go after the auxiliary verb. What's an auxiliary verb? Am, is, are, was, were, have, has, for present perfect. Um, so, I am always hungry, okay? She is always hungry. They are always hungry after the auxiliary verb, okay? There you go. They have frequently visited after the auxiliary verb. She has often visited. We have never visited. And after modal verbs, modal verb, can, could, would, should, might, must, may, will, needn't. These are modal verbs. He can often help after the modal verb. Okay, after the modal verb. He can often help. She will occasionally help. I should never help. We should never believe them. They should often believe us. Okay? After the modal verb. There you go. Also, again, after the modal verb, if it's a past sentence. The reason I make this point is because you could see this sentence has three verbs. And you think, oh no, three verbs. Don't worry. The, the adverb of frequency goes after the modal verb. If there is a modal verb, the adverb of frequency goes after. We should never have gone to the party. This is a past modal verb. I did modal verbs and I talked about the past. So have a look in my playlist, English classes, or through the channel, and you'll find all my modal verb videos and I talk about the past. So it's all there in great detail. Have a look, enjoy, leave a like, uh, so, should have gone. This is past modal verb. Modal verb plus perfect infinitive plus past participle. But the adverb goes after the modal verb, okay? Just like these sentences. Present or past or future. We should never have gone to the party. 
modal verb in third conditional. Again, same rule. Three verbs would have let, but it doesn't matter. The adverb of frequency goes after the modal verb. If I had known, third conditional, past perfect. If I had known, main clause, I would never have let you go to the party. What a fantastic sentence. And it seems complicated, but the grammar is all there. It, look at my conditional videos in the playlist as well. All the conditionals are there. I've done videos about them. Modal verb, af, uh, sorry, adverb of frequency after modal verb. After auxiliary verb, after the modal verb, after the modal verb, after the modal verb. So it's very clear. Now, these are the main rules, but there are some very variations. For example, these adverbs sometimes, often, usually, occasionally, frequently, and normally can also go before the subject. Sometimes I like to sleep in. Sleep in means spend longer in bed because you don't have to get up. Maybe it's your day off or whatever, you know, so you can sleep in. Sometimes people say lie in. Lie in is also a noun. And I mentioned that in another video as well. Sometimes I like to sleep in. So sometimes can go before the subject. Often she walks to work. Often can go before the subject. But only for these adverbs of frequency. These adverbs of frequency follow this rule. Okay, so that's the safe rule. That's the one you should try to remember most. Because these are variations. And you might hear someone saying... Sometimes I, often they, um, but it's not possible with these adverbs. So you might want to acknowledge this rule, but focus on this rule. It, these adverbs here can also go at the end of the clause. I like to sleep in normally. Okay. She walks to work frequently, occasionally. So... You can put it at the end of the clause or before the subject, but only with these adverbs of frequency. With these adverbs of frequency, always, never, seldom, rarely, hardly ever, they cannot do this. So you have, okay, sometimes, you know, you can put them before the subject and sometimes you can put them after the clause. But with these adverbs, they only follow this rule. Do you understand what I mean? All of the adverbs follow this rule. These adverbs have these variations. So it's easier to remember this, because it's always correct, than this. Because you might say, never I like to sleep in. That's bad, because these adverbs don't follow these variations. So, acknowledge these. They are there, and you can use them. But these ones will never be wrong. This rule will never be wrong. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I just want you to understand, that's all. Now, I've got some bonus sentences for you. She will seldom buy chocolates. Okay, that's a modal verb. So it's this rule here. She will seldom buy chocolate. Remember, seldom is a synonym of rarely. Hardly ever, almost never. These are also synonyms of rarely. She will seldom buy chocolate. They would hardly ever visit. Same, after the modal verb, after the modal verb, after the modal verb. I am rarely bored. After the auxiliary verb, I am rarely bored. It is almost never on time. After the auxiliary verb. So, just a few more examples there. I hope you enjoyed that because it took about 10 takes to get it right. Um, please subscribe. It's really helpful to the channel. Thank you very much. And please leave a like. It's also very helpful to the channel. Um, share this with anyone you know who is learning English because it's useful for them. And it's a nice thing to do on your behalf. And um, leave a comment if you have any doubts or questions or if you want me to do a video about a particular part of English. I'm happy to do those, but there's a lot, so it might not happen immediately, but I will definitely try to do it in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely day, 
and I'll see you soon for the next video. Bye-bye.